Now I'll just consider one more set of positive and negative cycles. If you come this side, when you take the negative cycle again, this is a negative cycle. You can see this time modulating signal is taking the negative values. And because it's a negative cycle of the carrier, this is my carrier signal. Because it's a negative cycle of the carrier here, my VO will be minus of VI. Now because VI is negative, you can see VO is the positive signal. Similarly, when there is a positive cycle of the carrier signal, now VI is taking more negative values. And because in positive cycle, VO should be equal to VI, you can see VO also takes the same negative values. So this reversing of the signal will keep taking place in every negative cycle and in every positive cycle output will be exactly same as the input. So the third waveform is the representation of the output signal. Now what is the problem with the third waveform and why we can't get third waveform exactly the way we have drawn at the output side. You can see there are sudden jumps from one level to the other level. This represents sudden changes in the output signal, which will be first in the form of output current. Now on the output side, if you remember the circuit, uh, on the output side, there is a transformer. Transformer in the form of inductors will never allow sudden changes in the output current. And hence my output waveform will be much smoother version of what we have drawn in the third waveform. And hence my output signal will look something similar to this last waveform. My output signal will look something similar uh, to this, to the last waveform that we have shown. Uh, so you can see if we get something similar to my third waveform, you can see there is a positive uh, output signal here, here, which represents this positive side. And then when the signal becomes negative, suddenly, instead of becoming negative, suddenly it becomes negative smoothly. Uh, when signal becomes positive again, again it becomes positive smoothly and so on. So my output signal will uh, be similar to the third waveform that we have drawn but it will be much smoother version of what we had drawn uh, in the third waveform. So uh, this is exactly how my output signal will look like. The blue colored dotted lines represent the envelopes of the signal. And if you remember now, this is exactly how my double sideband suppressed carrier looks like. Double sideband suppressed carrier signal looks exactly like this. This we have discussed in the previous video clips. So we conclude this time through waveforms, we conclude that my final output is in the form of two sidebands and there is no other signal. There is no carrier, there is no modulating signal uh, and that is justified from the shape of the signal. So that's how the ring modulator is able to remove carrier as well as modulating signal both from the output side and hence it is also called double balanced uh, modulator.